Hi, everyone. I'm Josef Alin, the creator of the Elixir Programming Language, and I would like to congratulate the Superbase team on the launch of Supervisor 1.0. And I'm also very happy that uh, myself and my colleagues at Dashbit were able to contribute to this milestone in small ways. So when Supervisor was announced, one of the questions that I saw um, coming from communities, outside the Elixir communities, why use the Elixir programming language to implement something like Supervisor, right? And I know I am obviously biased, but I actually think the Elixir programming language is great for Supervisor problems, but that's not because of Elixir. That's because of the Erlang virtual machine that Elixir runs on, right? So. Why Elixir? Why Erlang? To answer this question, let's go one step back, right? Which is, what is Supervisor? So Supervisor, it's a connection pooling, right? And the goal of a connection pool is imagine, for example, well, imagine that you're running a function as a service, cloud functions, whatever, right? They may need to do some work on the database, but now imagine that every time that you evoke them, they need to go and start a new connection to Postgres. Starting a connection to Postgres, like this connecting and doing the initial handshake can be expensive. And it can also happen in a regular request life cycle. So for example, imagine that you're running Node.js or Ruby, a language that cannot leverage all cores efficiently. Usually what you do is that you have to start several instances of your Node code, Ruby code. And if each of those hold a connection to Postgres, that can be expensive. Or if each of those have to connect to Postgres every time it's to do something that can take a lot of time as well. So what you want to do is that you want to put something in front of Postgres that keeps the connections to Postgres open. And then whenever you want to use it, you go to the service, right? And it would say, hey, I already have a Postgres connection uh, for you, right? You don't have to do all the setup. So Supervisor was designed with this in mind with features like being cloud native, being multi-tenant, you can connect to a bunch of different Postgres database at the same time, right? So with this background in mind, we can try to answer. So why Elixir? Why Erlang, right? So uh, let's go a little bit back in time. So for those who are not familiar, Erlang is a language and a virtual machine that was created by Ericsson, which is a tele telecommunication company, and it was created for building telephone switches. And if you get a telephone switch, what it has to do, right, is to accept connections, right, coming from a bunch of different places, right, and connect that to other things, right, to services, to houses, to phones, right? So it, its job is to handle many connections at the same time. And a connection pool is exactly that, right? You have connections coming, again, from your services, from uh, cloud functions for request responses, right? You want to connect to the database and keep the database connections open and have all these running things correctly at the same time. And you want that to scale, right? Scale to millions of connections if necessary. And Erlang gives us exactly that. But not only that, right? Like imagine that uh, you are receiving enough requests, right? Like Superbase needs to handle where you cannot run everything on a single connection pool. Now you need to start several services running the connection pool. So what happens if this service here is connected to a database, right? But the request comes to this other service here. It would, both of them could connect to the database. That can be one of the strategy, but sometimes the best way it's actually to route the request from one node to the other. And again, Erlang come with this out of the box. Erlang come with the whole idea of how to build fault tolerant systems, which is something that you want when you're building a connection pooling. If you have several connections to the database and one of them, something crashes, something goes wrong, you don't want that to affect the rest of your system, right? So Erlang's also come with this guarantee of isolation and fault tolerance between connections. So yeah, I actually think Erlang uh, and consequently Elixir for running on top of Erlang uh, has all of the principles and foundations to build a uh, robust and a scalable software that the Superbase team needs superv supervisor to be. So overall, if you're running Postgres in, in production and you are starting connections dynamically all the time, or you have too many services that are keeping many connections open and you think it makes sense to have a polling in front of it to reduce the connection usage, you should definitely check out Supervisor, give it a try. 
And if you want to learn more about the Elixir programming language and the foundations that I have mentioned for concurrency and fault tolerance out, uh, check out Elixir as well. And I hope I'll see you around. Until next time.